Hello and welcome to this video where I will be covering IG as I continue my LPL summer split of 2022 preview. Um, IG finished 14th this past um, split. I have them ranked 11th. Uh, going into spring, I thought they'd finish better than 14th. I'm, I'm, I feel like this team has a lot of growth to be made. I feel like... Um, growth to be made. I don't know if that even really makes sense, but I feel like the coaching staff caused a unnecessary pressure on this team. Um, there are a lot of young players on it, just trying to figure out, you know, the LPL way. Um, looking at this team, you see a lot of players listed. Um, this team has a ton of subs. Um, they are swapping players in and out at both the LPL and LDL level. And that's what I'm trying to get to about this whole pressure thing. Um, if they ran with a five-man roster, I think their team would be much better. It's an 11th place team, you know, at worst, with a five-man roster that they stick to that I have listed here. Um, finished 5-11, and 11, like I said, 14th Academy team, 12-10, and 10, 14th out of 24, so middle of the road. News, XZZ was demoted down to Academy, and Beige left. I did not erase Beige's stats. I wanted to erase his stats, and I didn't. I also wanted to do something else, and I didn't do it. Sorry about that. I tried to do a ton of videos in one day, and I skipped a step. So, um, Beige left. He was the uh, LDL jungler. That leaves only June as the um, jungler on the team. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Top lane, Zika and Nenny split time. Uh, Zika outplayed Nenny in the end. I don't think Nenny is a bad player. Maybe you should look to move him to try and help elsewhere. 57.1% um, KP, so middle of the road, 21.8% kill share. You'd like him to get more kills, given his gold share is 22.7%. Played 10 different champions. Nenny, um, one less CS every three minutes. Much higher KP, about 7% higher. Kill share much lower, 6% less. So Nenny was not getting the kills despite getting into more action. Um, he did get less gold, however. At the academy level, they have YSKM. Um, I don't think he's anywhere near ready. He's not even at 8 CS per minute yet at the um, LDL level. So let alone getting him to the LPL will be difficult. Um, you know, getting him to a level that is competitive. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. Um, jungle June, June had a near six CS per minute, 68.3%, um, KP, which is solid for both 21.4. He out, um, killed his gold chair, which is good. He did work. He's a solid jungler. I don't, I feel like he was one of their better players all split long. Um, eight out of 38 champion pool. Uh, and like I said, there isn't a backup. I have Beige's stats listed there, but he is gone. Mid lane, Yukai, uh, they pulled Yukai and had Mole playing at the end of the year, and I thought Mole was awful. Uh, that was a bad move, in my opinion. Yukai uh, out-farmed Mole by quite a bit. Mole only played in five games, but Yukai out-farmed him by 1.25 a minute. Um, so that's five every four minutes, I believe. Um, KDA over one higher. Slightly less KP, more kill share, and a lot more gold, 3% higher. And Yukai plays a lot of champions, 12 champions in 33 games. I think they should have stuck with him. The thing is, they kept swapping out top laners, mid laners, AD carry, and it just hurt this team. It hurt the team. They should not have done that. I remember saying after spring in my video where I covered the teams that didn't make the playoffs, I said, they need a coaching change. They don't need a player change. They need a coaching change. This culture they have of this 10-man roster or whatever the heck they're doing does not work. Um, then they had three mid laners in LDL. Um, XYZZ is who they demoted. Uh, 929 CS per minute. Very solid, but only actually in four games. Yeah. He played, yes, yes, he played at uh, Academy. I was going to say, did he play some um, LPL games? But I don't think he did. I think it was all LDL. He only played in four games, 9.29 CS per minute, 79% um, KP. So he participated big time in the games he played. Maybe they should go with him going forward. XZY, 
Uh, 6.11 KD, very nice KDA. But his CS per minute's just over 8, so he's a good team fighter, but he is not a good farmer. And in that case, uh, I don't think he's quite ready yet. And Tiga, um, 7.69, not much better as a uh, option. Bot lane, um, Wink. Wink ended up playing over on in the end. Wink, 8.92 CS per minute, not good enough. If it is under 9, I am not a um, big fan of uh, AD carry that's got under 9 CS per minute. I think you need to pick that up. I do think putting Wink in over on was a better move than them going with Mole over um, UK. However, um, when it comes to KP, pretty low, only at 63%. Kill share 28%, which is much higher than the gold share 24%. So, uh, Wink not getting into a lot of fights, um, kind of middle of the road in the KP department. Um, then resulting middle of the road kill share and gold share. Played five different champions in 18 games on 9.07 CS per minute at the uh, LPL level. So slightly better farmer, but he did not get into as many fights. Um, as a result, he didn't have as many kills. I mean, I don't think either one's really ready. And they, I mean, either one's really that good. And Zhao Jui, I'm going to pronounce it Zhao Jui. Um, Got a couple games with the big club, and he struggled. 1.55 uh, CS. Uh, uh, geez, Louise, this video is awful. 1.55 KDA. Um, 8.84 CS per minute. I looked at his academy stats because he is the LDL 80 carry, and he had over 10 CS per minute. So um, this is just a fact. Uh, the fact of the matter, I think, that he is. Um, he needs time. He needs time, and I think, honestly, they should give him time in summer. I think he should be able to play with the LPL team. Um, 10 CS per minute is nothing to scoff at. Evidently, mechanically, in lane, he is, you know, better than 8.92, which is what Wink's giving them. Um, also had a 35.9 uh, kill share in his eight games he played with the big team, you know, uh, IG, so... I mean, I think they should go with Zhao Zhui in bot and move Wink or An out of there. And, um, you know, maybe, I don't know, find a mid laner that you can go forward with um, that you like. I mean, I don't have a problem with Yukai. Like I said, I think he's a lot better than Mole. But, um, you know, if you have a plethora of players at bot, move one. I mean, you have five mid laners. I don't know why they have so many players, um, you know. It's just, it's ridiculous. Uh, Lucas, I think Lucas is the best player on the team. Um, 2.56 KD, 64.2 64 KP. Not that great, but when you look at the fact that Wink was 63.4 and then An and Zhao Zhui did not have even that much, um, it makes sense that Lucas was probably attached to his AD carries hip instead of, um, you know, going around and roaming, which you have two different kinds of supports. You have a guy that's going to do that, and you have a guy that, that won't. Um, Key ended up getting two games. Uh, I don't think he's much to write home about over Lucas. And Mitsuki, uh, 729, 66.6, 10 out of 32 champion pool. Lucas, 11 out of 36. I overlooked that. Um, I feel like they have a solid uh, academy support in Mitsuki. Um, I don't think Lucas is, like I said, Lucas, I think is the best player on the team right now. So I don't think he's the problem. Um, however, maybe it's mid lane that could be improved by them moving Winker on, uh, you know, or still have to find an Academy jungler. They only have one jungler on the whole entire team. You have 10 play, move one of these mid laners for a jungler. You know, this doesn't seem too hard. Um, but nevertheless, yeah, I have IG 11th just outside of the playoffs uh, at worst. You know, they're a young team. Should be getting better by the day if the coaching staff allows them. If the coaching staff rides them and pulls them after a couple bad games and, uh, you know, starts punishing them, then that's when we start having issues. So thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. I uh, cover MSI. I cover all four major regions. 
Um, there is a playlist where I have all my LPL summer previews. Uh, so this video should be in that. And uh, comment down below if you're an IG fan. What do you think they should do? You know, what do you think the starting five should look like, given they have so many options um, across both the main roster and academy roster? And, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I hope you come back for more content.